Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another haul. I haven't done one in a few months, so I've had a lot of these things for like since January. I've been trying to not buy as much. So that's good. I've been doing okay. So I have Ulta, Random, Mac, and Sephora. Where's my random stuff? Forgot to get out of this box. If you're curious, oops. This is where I keep all of my packaging, because I don't keep it all in the packaging. In my closet. Oh, failure. In my closet. I like keep it in this big box right here. So yeah. But I do use it. I take it out and use it before I do these videos. The first one is from Marshalls, and it's a brush, and I really like it. It comes in a little box like this. It has like teasing kind of bristles, you know, like and regular these are thinner than usual. They're like the wet brush kind of bristles. And I really like this little brush. I keep it in my purse and I comb out my hair with it. And it works really well. Um, the next three things are things I got from my auntie. I think these were, these might have even been in my stocking. Um, these are from Mary Kay and it is the Satin Lips Lip Mask and Lip Balm. I don't know where the lip balm is. It's in one of my pockets of something. Um, I really like this and I really like the lip mask. Those are two very good things. The next thing is a, what is this called? Brilliant uh, mm, Nourishing Plus Lip Gloss. Let's see. And this one is in Golden. So, this actually looks really pretty on. Um, okay, so last random thing from Random Place. I got this. I ordered this from the Cosmetics website when they were having a sale. This was on sale for like um, $25 and then they had a 20% off. So I think I got this for less than like a little under 20 shipped and everything so that was really nice. And it is the It, Cosme it Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Celebration Palette. So this was like their um, uh, holiday palette. I don't have the original because I always watch the original and I, it doesn't do anything for me. But I thought since this was such a good deal, I would get this one. And I really like it. I've been using that a lot. I don't care for that transforming shade, but whatevs. Um, the next thing was Ulta. So Ulta was having a NYX 50, buy one get one 50% off. I think it's going on right now still. And I got the eyebrow gel. And I got three colors for my kit. Um, I really like that they come in squeezy tubes. And I got brunette, blonde, and black. And they look like this. And you can tell I like was a savage and tried to open that box. Whoops. So they look like this. And I really like that they're in squeezy tubes because then I don't have to scoop them out. I can just squeeze a little bit on my palette and put them on people. And so far, I like them. They take a little like getting used to you have to figure out a good way to use them I think I'll do a, a, a review on these um, versus the makeup Fiber aqua creams and Anastasia, Anastasia dip brow and Mac gel cream or whatever the eyebrow stuff is because I have all of those in my own color so I, was, I think I'm gonna do a comparison video between those okay and since NYX was buy one get one 50% off those were the only colors they had left I got a NYX HD concealer in green not sure how I feel about this. I tried to use it a little bit and we'll see. There might be a little bit of a learning curve with that one too. The next thing I got from Ulta was the Duo Brush On Strip Lash Lash Adhesive. And this is in clear. I really like this. I explained in my favorites video why. It, um, you don't have to wait for it forever to dry. Like you have to wait like a minute for the duo to like get tacky before you put it on your eye. Otherwise, you make a mess. So this is really good for quick things, or if you keep it in your purse in case you have like a little bit of a flappage issue or something. This is really good. It doesn't have the same kind of like holding power as regular duo, but I really like this. The only thing is that it doesn't it it um stays tacky in some places and I don't like that so you kind of have to put like a little bit of eyeshadow or something over the tacky parts so that it won't be tacky anymore or mascara whatever um the next thing I got which I'm not sure how I feel about this to be honest this is the Real Techniques sculpting set and it has three brushes and it looks like this and 
Okay, so that's what the brushes look like on the back. It comes with a, it, this kind of reminds me, it's kind of dense, it's dirty because I've used it. This is the sculpting brush. This kind of reminds me of like a flat angled kabuki, well it's kind of what it is. Uh, I don't find it super special. And then I have the fan brush. I don't have a, I don't ever use that one. And the setting brush. And this comes by itself, I have a couple of these already. And that was $20 for that. And that was only three brushes, but I guess that's okay. I don't, but I, again, you can pass and not, you're not missing anything. The next thing I got was the Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Fair. This is a little bit too light for me. I can still make it work. I don't really like it though. It just, I don't know what it is about it. I like my Pro Longwear, my Rimmel, and all of them better. I, like, I like it. I would use it. If I didn't have other ones I like better and I kind of think that's a waste of time to use things that you like when you have things that more than one thing that you like a lot better than this but I'm gonna keep trying it. The last Ulta thing is the Laura Geller Tucson Tucson Tuscan Beauty five-piece collection inspired by natural Italian glamour and it comes in fair and from what I saw it only comes in fair and this comes with five full-size products, so I thought that was a really good deal for $42. It comes with a two-ounce two spackle. This is Protective Under Makeup Primer. It has SPF 30, so that'll be good for summer. Um, it, it comes with a color-drenched lip gloss in Cafe Au Lait. I don't like this. That's all I'll say about that. And a little, this is a nice little purse brush. It's the Retractable Baked Powder Brush. And it looks like this. And it's synthetic and it's nice and soft. It's not very dense, but it still is nice to keep in your purse. And then what I the two things I really wanted were the baked blush in Catalina, and this is a full size. And I just really like this color. It's like a nice pinky mauve. It's light though. It's very nice. I feel like I have something similar to it. I just can't think of what it is. I have to figure that out. And the last thing is something I've been wanting to try, and this is the baked balance. Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation and Fair, and I think I need a lighter shade because once I, if I put, like if I buff this into my skin, it's a little bit too dark. If I just like lightly dust it, it's okay, but it's too dark, a little bit too dark. So, but maybe since summer's coming, it will work out better. And I really do like the finish of that. It's kind of similar to um, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. So. Honestly, I'd probably go with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish since it's cheaper because I have a discount, so, but whatever. And then I got another palette. This is an empty palette. This is from MAC, by the way. And then I got a brush. This is a newer one. This one is a 286, and it is like a du dual fiber crease brush. I typically don't like these. I've tried a bunch of these, but this one, for some reason, I really do like. It's not like as flimsy, and the black hairs on it, I know it's dirty, the black hairs on it are longer than other dual fiber brushes that I've tried, so I really like that. And then I got a new Fix Plus, because I needed a new one. And then, let's see. I got a couple eyeliners, one in Nightingale. I love this color. Love this color. You can't really tell, like, how it's more berry than it's showing up on camera. And then I got Candy Yum Yum. Because they, they came out with a bunch of new lip liners, so that's really nice. And then, let's see, I got a Select Cover-Up Concealer. I was thinking about putting these in my kit because they were in a tube, but I don't care for them as much as I like Pro Longwear, obviously. But, like, anywhere near, this is not even, it's okay. I don't like, I don't put it under my eyes, but I don't find that it, it's super... It's not high enough coverage. Like, I prefer my Hard Candy Glamouflage over this, and that's not even top five, but. Okay, now I have a couple of lipsticks. The first one is Craving. And it is a nice, like, mauve berry color. It's mid-toned. And the next one, I think this was limited edition. My store still had them a couple weeks ago. And this is in... La Vie and Rouge, La Vie and Rouge. Um, 
This is such a nice one. I should have bought both of them because I had more than one. I should have bought two of them. Um, this is like, it kind of, it's like a cross between All Fired Up and, um, not All Fired Up, Relentlessly Red and, what is it? Lady Danger. I really like this one a lot. It's going to be really nice for summer. Okay, and then I bought a Conceal and Correct Do. I really need to place an online order because there's a lot of things that I want from online. I've been meaning to do it, I just haven't. Uh, but this is the MAC Conceal and Correct Duo. My st store only had this one. This one is the lightest shade and has pale pink and pale yellow. I like this. It's kind of it, it. The texture reminds me of the Prep and Prime pens. So that's good. And you can see how much you have in there. So that's nice. The next thing I have is a pigment. And this is in Kitchmas. And it's like a light purple. And I've been wanting this one. I don't know why I haven't had it. Oh, that's not the right color. But it's a light purple. The next thing, this is something for my kit. It is another Studio Fix fluid. I don't know why I have so many of these in my kit. I keep buying them. Um, I can mix, but I'm just too lazy. And then and how you have to buy the pump separately. Um, this one is in NC35. And I do, this is like the skin tone that I do like 80% of the time. Maybe it's just where I live, but that's like the color of everybody. Okay. Let me just empty this all out so I can throw it on the floor. The first thing I have is a eyeshadow that I don't remember what color was new, so it's not in there. Um. The next thing is Corduroy. This is Matte Corduroy, that one. And then Retrospec. And then this one is my favorite. I've been using this. I've had this for a while. And this is the Pro Longwear Eyeshadow in Always Sunny. This is very similar to Bamboo, but you get a lot more. And it's a little tiny bit darker, so. OK, and then I got another lip liner. And this is in Beat. And this is a nice, like, kind of berry red color. And then the last thing I got from MAC is a lip gloss. And this is in Love Child. I don't typically buy a MAC lip gloss a lot, or lip glass. But I just liked this purpley mauve color. OK, last place, Sephora. There's some stuff in there. OK, the first thing, it was my birthday in March. So I got a birthday gift. This is the VIB Rouge birthday gift this year. This is a really good one, actually. It has two velvet matte pencils and a NAR, it's by NARS by the way, and a NARS via or larger than life eyeliner in Via Veneto. And this one is you can roll it up and down. And so this one has 0.3 grams. These ones you cannot roll up and grab, roll up and down. So this one has. 1.7 grams they both do so lip pencils are this one is a in this is a satin matte lip pencil and this is in Rickagegan you can see it right there at the top I don't know what that is <laughs> and this one is in Cruella it's a nice red I already have that one um, and then I got a 100 point perk it's a little Urban Decay lipstick oh for my birthday when they gave me that, I had went to the Sephora Inside JCPenney's, and I find that the Sephora Inside JCPenney's, I get way better, like, people that work there. But she gave me this, too, because they had more left over. This was the Sephora VIB Rouge. I guess this is if you made rouge. They gave you this. And it is just, oops, oops. Let me just rip apart the box. How come I can't open this? I've already opened it, and I've used it. Okay, we're just going to rip it apart. Okay, it's out. And this is just in I uh, X Heart Rouge, and it's just a red. This is a nice red. And like I said, I got this 100 point perk, and this is in Jilted. It's like a nice pink color, if I could get it out. It's in a nice pink color, it's just a little baby. I like that one. And it's a mini, and it goes all the way down, which I like. See, yay. OK. See, this is a long time ago. I got this. When it went on clearance, like in January after Christmas, and this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess uh, Sweet Dreams palette, and it has a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. I've been using the highlight, the bronzer, like no, like there's no tomorrow. And this is in Park Avenue Princess, and I don't know. It says it's a contour palette. I don't think that is a good contour. I just use it as a bronzer, but I really like it. 
The next thing is I got an Urban Decay eyeshadow in Easy Baked. I've been wanting this. I've heard uh, Lisa SD whatever um, talk about it, and I've been wanting it. And this is such a pretty color. I really like this. I've already used it a bunch. It's a nice gold. It's not as gold like as bronze as uh, half baked, so that's a really nice one. And I got a Sila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Besso. I was gonna get um, Fiery, which I should have, because that was the one that I kind of wanted. But I really do like this one. I want this one. I want Fiery, and I want um, Patina. So those are gonna be my next ones. But I really like this. It's kind of drying, but. It's a liquid matte. It's a matte liquid lipstick. So. Okay, this I've had forever. This is the. Did I not show this in my last haul video? Laura Mercier Mini Caviar Stick Eye Quartet. And it came with four of the um, caviar eye sticks from Laura Mercier. I really like them. The one that's missing is Moonlight, and that's because I have a full size and I gave that one to my mom. Actually, I have a full size of a couple of these, but I like them so. And she liked that one, so I gave it to her. But they're so cute. Look at how cute they are, they're little tiny babies. Yep, yeah, I don't use them that often. Like, I don't use them every day, so I don't need a giant one. Uh, the next thing is Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. I have the Lit Glitter Glue and the Ben Eye Glitter Glue. I have like five. I have a few, but I don't know. None of them, like, I wanted one that kept my eyeshadow on and put the glitter over the top of it not take because like a lot of them especially when they're super liquidy take off my eyeshadow and I don't like that so this one does not do that and this is like I said the Too Faced one I really like this one I've used this one a bunch of this one for like months already so I don't know maybe I showed it in my other home who knows the next morning thing is I got a Sephora Z palette and I put it back in this earring paper and it's just like the striped one and it, this is a domed one I'm pretty sure because this is it's thicker than a regular Z palette and it doesn't come with any eyeshadow it just comes empty um, these are a little bit more expensive than the one like when you buy them online but I really I just I didn't want to order one and I needed one and it was there so um, it's not like so much more expensive okay the next thing we got is another one of these Josie Marin Coconut Water Eyeshadow in Playa Del Pink. I have a couple already. I wish they made a gold. I don't understand why she doesn't make a gold. I think that one would be like a really popular one. But she makes a rose gold and a like champagne color. So I love these. I've talked about them before. The next thing I got is Too Faced Soul Mates Blushing Bronzer. Honestly, I bought this because of the packaging. I know. And the color of this one is in Ross and Rachel, and they also have another one that's called Carrie and Big. And I kind of want that one, because I feel like I would use that one more. But So that's what the inside looks, and it has like a little heart-shaped mirror. And it's a heart. Look at how cute that is. I haven't used this really. I think I've used the bronzer once. But it's so cute. I just, I don't know. Yeah, we'll move on. The next two, the last two things are from Kat Von D. Um... The first thing is the Locket Tattoo Foundation. I needed another one of these. I've had one before and it went away. Um, I don't know what happened to it. But this, my color is in light 44 and I probably could go a shade darker, but I prefer mine to be lighter. I'd, ra I'd rather my foundation be too light than too dark because I put bronzer on and stuff and then once you put, so if you use a foundation that's too dark and you put bronzer and contour and everything, then you just really look too dark. Um, but I kind of feel like it, you can even it out if it's too light and i don't use this by itself because i feel like it gives me like barbie face and i think that i look bizarre when my rest of my skin looks normal and my face looks like like a barbie <laughs> so uh i mix this with a lot of other patients a lot of other foundations it really helps the lasting power of them and um the coverage so i really like that a lot the last thing is the cat Von D shade and light palette Oh, I told myself I wasn't gonna get this. I told myself I wasn't gonna get this because I want I have the Anastasia like the big contour book and the little contour book and then I have the Mac shaving powders and among other singles I have but I just couldn't resist this is just so nice I really like it 
I haven't really used it that often, but I've used it a few times. And it's just really nice. It's smoother and it's easier to blend. But I don't like how it, um, you can't replace these. Like you can replace the Anastasia. So I probably use up these two and that one. And then I have these other three that are just there. And em with e empty three. You know what I mean? And that would drive me insane. So I'd have to depot them. But hopefully she eventually does that. But I just couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I just, I couldn't resist. So she came off. And that was everything. If you guys want to see any um, reviews or anything on any of this stuff, just let me know. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.